What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about FIFA 17 because we do need that some brand new information. So I'll show you guys what we have in this video. Let's go for 5,000 likes in this video if you guys wanna see another one of these kind of videos very soon. And obviously the one that I posted a week ago right now has got like 600k views and over 13,000 likes, which is just... That is just simply amazing. And because of the insane recent support, guys, I'm going to be doing a huge giveaway in this video. If you want to be entered into a 200,000 coins giveaway on FIFA 16, everything you need to do is leave a like in this video and make sure to be subscribed to my channel. I'm going to be checking if you guys have done all that, if you win the giveaway, and that's pretty much about it. And I'll pick a winner probably tomorrow when I'm going to be doing a stream. So I'll see you guys tomorrow in the stream where we choose to win it for the giveaway. So the first thing is that we're gonna be seeing a brand new league on FIFA 17 and this got confirmed yesterday on Twitter by EA and they tweeted out that we're gonna be seeing the Japanese league on FIFA 17. As you can see, we have 18 brand new teams coming as well and there also might be a few more, you know, new leagues coming as well later on and maybe like the Chinese league or something and then we also have a brand new stadium. Look at that right there, guys. That looks pretty awesome indeed. So uh, there we go, a brand new league coming to FIFA 17. The second thing is actually gonna be a screenshot from the FIFA 17, the journey trailer. As you can see right there, it says EA Sports Youth Cup June 12th to June 24th and I believe that says 2017 it might be saying 2016 I'm not too sure but it would make more sense if it said 2017 because it's already been 2016 and we've already passed that date but anyway that means that you actually might be able to play some Youth Cups with Alexander and you know make your improvements and stuff over there which would be amazing I don't think we've seen like a Youth Cup or on career mode or anything like that yet so Youth Cup that would be awesome and I'm looking forward to that on FIFA 17 the journey the next thing is also going to be a screenshot from the FIFA 17 in the journey trailer as you can see here though here we have Anfield Liverpool Stadium and uh, pretty much you can see him walking out there and uh, obviously at this point he plays for Manchester United so that means that this was a Liverpool versus Manchester United game you can see Anfield right there and also what you guys need to focus on is that this year they are focused so much on like you know uh, the players they're sitting on the bench as well as you can see there to the left you can see like the uh, the you know the injury team and all that stuff sitting there uh, which is amazing that they focus so much on detail on those as well like the assistant manager, all that stuff is going to be there on the bench. You can also see the cameraman in the background and stuff, guys. They focus so much on that as well. So the graphics, once again, guys, on FIFA 17 is going to be incredible. And it should be a great game, guys. I think this is going to be the best FIFA yet. Now, the fourth thing right now is going to be the biggest thing about this whole video. And that is that Liga BBVA is going to be having the full licensing on FIFA 17. From this video right here, you can see that pretty much during the FIFA 17 official presentation at Santiago Bernabeu, La Liga ambassador Fernando Morientes of course as well earlier Liverpool player anyway he said that uh, FIFA 17 will be the only Liga BBVA official video game this year which pretty much means that yeah we're gonna be seeing the full licensing on BBVA this year on FIFA 17 which also means as you guys can see here like two years ago with the English PPL EA gets the exclusive licensing rights on teams players and stadiums from Spain we're gonna be seeing amazing animations and stuff guys right now for example if you play a game uh, with two teams from the, from the Liga BBVA or something you're gonna be seeing the full kind of um, you know animations and stuff how it in real life now on FIFA 17 as well like it happened a couple years ago with the BPL and of course this will also happen on career mode so why uh, yeah you can read mode youtubers and uh, players should have something really awesome to look forward to so now we're gonna be talking about some FIFA 17 ratings which is obviously awesome every single year when they announce like the top 50 player ratings before the game comes out anyway as you guys can see here on this amazing website I love this guys and also make sure to download their app it's called like ultimate team uh, or something like that I'm, I'm gonna leave a link to that guys down below in the description but you can actually see me on the app I'm actually in the app you can see like I have my own kind of section which you guys can go on so uh, yeah make sure you guys go and download the app down below it's awesome and I'm actually also on this website which is also really cool but anyway as I was saying guys the release dates are right here top 50 players is gonna be August 31st new legends is gonna be announced September 5th obviously you know a couple of weeks and stuff before the game comes out you guys can read more about this down below there's gonna be every single five skill so October 2nd top 20 MLS players and stuff and everything is gonna be happening before the game comes out uh, apart from that every five star skiller thing which always gets announced like a couple days after the game is out but anyway it also says about FIFA 17 legends which uh, legends you guys are potentially going to be seeing 
on FIFA 17. And uh, there's a lot of here things, guys, about the ratings and uh, individual attributes and stuff. So make sure you guys go and check out this page. And you guys can read more about the FIFA 17 ratings right there. So sometimes I include like a FIFA 17 design or something in these videos. And this one right here, guys, got me good. And also, it's a pretty fun one. As you can see, it's pretty much editing a player. And uh, yeah, it says Marco, Royce, left arm there. Sergio Ramos, right arm, left leg, right leg, neck. A lot of people were actually believing this. I also retweeted this on Twitter. And there was a few people saying like, yeah, that this actually might be real and stuff. But obviously, it's not real, guys. But it looks awesome, and it got me good, and it trolled a lot of people on Twitter. So there we go. Great job to the person who designed this, and I'm going to leave a link to this as well down below in the description. Talking about FIFA 17 designs, the FIFA 17 demo leak image that we got a few weeks ago. This has been confirmed, guys, that this is indeed fake. This is not real at all. The 5 a sun mode is most likely not going to be happening, which is kind of sad. A lot of people were believing this. I wasn't too sure all the time if I was actually going to believe this or not, because 5 a side, that sounds too good to be true. But now we know this is not real, guys. So if you see this anyway, right now you know that this right here this FIFA 17 demo leak image it is not real on FIFA 17 you're gonna be able to take free kicks with a weaker foot which is amazing so for example if you have a really bad position or something you can now angle yourself and position yourself and literally take a free kick with the opposite foot if that you know works better in that situation anyway that is amazing though guys so hopefully you should use a player with like you know at least four star weak foot or something and if you guys do that you can pretty much take free kicks uh, as normal just with a weak foot on FIFA 17 which is amazing, and that is, of course, a brand new thing as well. The set pieces, guys, are gonna be great on the FIFA 17. It's gonna be much better, much more ad advanced, but at the same time, a lot cooler. And, you know, same goes for penalties as well. Those look amazing. Now, the last thing I'm gonna be talking about in this video is actually the FIFA 17 nets. Now, right now, yeah, I'm not too sure, guys, but I haven't seen the nets move so far on FIFA 17. Like, from the trailers and stuff, as you guys can see here in the background, we have, I'm gonna show you guys a lot of examples and stuff and you can literally see the net is not moving it is literally just I'm not too sure guys I'm not too sure why the net is not moving do you think it will be like this as well on the full game because uh, yeah I'm not too sure guys the net just doesn't seem to be moving so far in the game and to be honest I do not like that I just love seeing the ball fly back into the net when scoring a goal so I'm not too sure why the net is not moving maybe it's because of the trade I mean, we've seen this as well guys we've seen some leaked gameplays and stuff and it still seems like the nets are not moving so uh, yeah I'm not too sure guys if you're gonna be able to change that or something if it's diff different from stadium to stadium I'm not too sure though we'll have to wait and see but so far the nets are standing pretty much still anyway though that is it for this thank you so much for watching leave a like if you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you guys next time with some more videos peace out